Hello, I'm Neil, UK English tutor, and today we're going to look at flatten the curve. Flatten is a regular verb, and it means to make something less bumpy, rounded, or uneven. The stress is on the first syllable, and the second syllable of flatten is very weak. So we say flatten the curve. Flatten the curve at this time of recording refers to the graph that shows how many people have got COVID-19. When people talk about flattening the curve, they mean making it not like this, the graph, but like this. They say that if the curve is too high, then the hospitals will have too many people to deal with. So we need to keep it lower. So we're supposed to stay at home, keep washing your hands, sing happy birthday and watch TV. Flatten, though, is mostly used for physical things. And there's an implied downward action when you use this verb. A surface or an area or some material that's like this needs to be lowered in order to become flatter. And so if you've got a surface that is uh, with dips or holes and you want it raised to be flat, that's different. That's an upward movement. So we don't use flatten for that. What else can you flatten? If the road has got lots of bumps in it, you wish somebody would come and flatten those. And if your garden has got lots of humps or bumps in it and you can't get your lawnmower over it, uh, you have to flatten them. Before a big building project starts, the ground usually has to be flattened. There could be rubble or something else in the way. And on a bigger scale, if a storm or a tsunami, that's a big tidal wave, visits a city uh, or hits a city, it can flatten the town or city. Where there used to be big tall buildings and trees, it's now, it ends up flatter. There is a phrase in English, I'm going to flatten you. And it's a threat of violence that one, for example, boxer might use to another boxer before a fight. And it implies that this boxer is going to punch the other boxer so much that he ends up as a flat piece of meat or a burger. Uh, if before the fight he said, I'm going to turn you into a burger, it wouldn't have the same effect. Flatten is the infinitive form, and you can say something like, oh, the tsunami is going to flatten my house, hooray! Or you could say, this garden's too bumpy, I need to flatten the bumps. The continuous form is flattening. So you could say, I'm flattening this piece of ground so that I can lie on it. And when the two boxers are fighting, the one boxer could actually say, aha, look, I am flattening you. Uh, the past and the past participle are both flattened because it's a regular verb. Earlier, I flattened my boss. I'm just waiting for the police to come and take me away. As you can see, this piece of ground has not been flattened. Flat is an adjective that we use to describe an area or a surface as being even without bumps. It has a comparative form which is flatter, and a superlative form, flattest. Other uses of the word flat are when, for example, all the air has gone out of a tire, you can call it flat. That's what we say, you've got a flat tire. And when you've used all the power from a battery, we call it a flat battery. Uh, I, my car won't start, the battery is flat. I've got to charge my phone because the battery is flat. When a drink that normally has gas bubbles in it, like cola, lemonade, beer, champagne, has lost all the bubbles because maybe you left the drink there for a long time, we call it flat. I don't want to drink this lemonade, it's gone flat. And flat can be a noun. The British English word for an apartment is a flat. So an apartment building, we call it a block of flats. 
flat also has an adverb form, which is flatly. And it means something like completely, totally, wholly. It's used to describe how somebody said something and it suggests that when they said it, they felt very strongly about what they said. For example, he flatly denied being a Russian spy and she flatly refused to take a vaccine from Bill Gates. Flat is also used in a few phrases. There's a phrase, to fall flat on your face. Uh, and it means literally to fall over and hit your face on the ground. But that same phrase, to fall flat on your face, also means to fail at something in a big, probably embarrassing way. Uh, we describe some things that are very flat as flat as a pancake. Some people describe Holland, the Netherlands, as being flat as a pancake because there are very few hills. Then there's the way some people describe planet Earth. Gary thinks the planet Earth is flat as a pancake, even though all the moons and the planets we can see are like a ball shape, a sphere. So we call Gary a flat earther. There are lots of other words we can use to describe Gary, but that's for another video. Thanks for watching. That's it for this week. Any questions or comments, please put them under the video. I teach lessons online. Here's my email address. See you next week.